right, I have a couple of eggs, one piece of bacon, a small smidgen of turkey sausage, a quarter cup of low-fat uh, cottage cheese, and a quarter cup of non-fat yogurt. And I added some berries, and of course I had uh, one wheat bread. I wanted to do a real quick haul. Um, I just wanted to show you some of the things I got in case you were on the lookout for some new things. Um, I got this blueberry green tea. It is diet. Um, Arizona tea is zero points. I'm on my Smart Point program. This is um, going to be good. I haven't tried this before, but it looks really great. I love blueberries. Got some diet ginger ale with lemonade. Uh, zero points. Always get some of this um, egg white stuff, and it is like one point for like a half a cup, which is amazing. It's an amazing amount. Always get some chicken broth. This is zero points, of course, and no sugar added. Now, I want to show you some of the sugar content in some of the things I normally get for Weight Watchers. The Bolt House Farms is two tablespoons for two points, smart points, but also has two grams of sugar in it. Be aware. Um, I usually get this for my kids, not for myself, but once in a while I'll splurge and have some of this. Two tablespoons is seven points. Um, and then it's four grams of sugar in that one serving. This is what I get for me, the yogurt. Uh, it's just plain Greek yogurt. One cup is two points, zero grams of sugar. Be aware there's seven grams of natural sugar that comes in the dairy, but there's no added sugar, so I'm not gonna count that. Lots of veggies, avocados. Um, now I got some new um, creamers that I wanted to show you. We were talking about that. Um, it's a big deal with our family, and I'm trying to find something and settle on a new one. So I got this as a backup in case my husband rejects the new ones, but um, this one's French vanilla. It's the Nut Pod, one tablespoon to zero points and zero grams of sugar, so that's not bad. I hope it works out. And then there's a hazelnut one, which I love. Um, I love hazelnut. One tablespoon is zero points and zero grams of sugar. And then this one's old trusty in case my husband just joneses and doesn't like these. Um, I'm gonna put this in the other fridge though, for now. One tablespoon is zero points and zero grams of sugar. I'm also gonna try to add some of my egg white protein powder um, as a creamer and see how that works. All right, I've got, okay, one cup is one point of the cashew milk. This is what I usually use. And I believe this is zero grams of sugar. Yep, zero grams. Now I bought, I have a little problem with the milk here. Okay, so this is what I usually get for my husband and I sometimes will have this, although we don't have it in abundance. One cup is four points of the Fair Life reduced fat lactose free milk and it's got six grams of sugar, right? Now I thought I would try this one for the kids. It's lactose-free reduced fat milk from Shamrock Farms. Now this has, it's five points for one cup, so it's one more point than this, but look at the difference here. 12 grams of sugar. This is, um, I don't know why I didn't see that before, but this is a great example of the stuff that gets you in your points for Weight Watchers, but they can stick you over on your sugars, right? Now, I don't see why this should be so much. Usually for milk, I do not count the grams of sugar. So I'm saying this is six grams, that's natural sugar. Um, so for the sake of this, uh, yeah, let's see, they didn't add it. Yeah, for the sake of this, um, this week's challenge, I do not count these ones, but this one, I'm not so sure we shouldn't count it. So, or some of it, 12 grams just seems to be pretty high. Okay, so um, I am going to show you the rest of it. I've got, okay, I've got eggs over here. Corn tortillas are always good. They're actually a whole grain, three points for two two grams of sugar in two of those. So just remember that. These are my hamburger buns of choice. I do all kinds of things with them. Four points for, uh, for one, and it's two grams of sugar in one as well. Sometimes I get things on sale in the freezer department, and I think this was a mistake. Um, it looked really good, this Luvo planted power bowl with greens in it, right? Brown rice, uh, garbanzo beans, cabbage. It's 10 points, 10 smart points, really? I just don't. I don't understand that. And five grams of sugar. And so I'm like, well, that's really odd. I didn't see that before. And this one is the chicken meatballs and stroganoff sauce. Nine smart points, two grams of sugar. It's not as bad. Um, and then over here, this one fares a little bit better. This is Mediterranean uh, Signature Select. 
style chicken and um, it is six points and four grams of sugar and 260 calories so this one fits nicely into the Weight Watchers program I think now the Cracker Barrel provolone that was not reduced fat actually had this is zero sugars um, I didn't put the points up on here sorry about that I think it's like two points it might be more um, but this one has two two grams more of protein than the Cracker Barrel regular provolone. So I went with the reduced fat from Lucerne. That was a good idea. Butter. Um, and then this is a really great product here. The Jenny O turkey, um, turkey sausage is two points for two ounces and zero grams of sugar. And so I love that. That's just great all the way around. And this one is a little higher. Two ounces is one point, but it has two grams of sugar, right? It's an uncured ham. Got that for my kids. I get all kinds of uh, meats with no added sugar, chicken breasts, you know, all kinds of stuff. And then um, bacon and let's see here. Now the bacon, I didn't write anything on there. I got that, uh, I get that for my family. Once in a while, I'll have one. The light cheese is one for one point, zero grams. And then uh, Lisa Arase had suggested to me to try these cereals for the kids. So I grabbed a couple of them. I didn't get the cocoa one because that was one gram more of sugar, which isn't a huge deal breaker, but I thought I'd just try these two first. Three quarter cup for four points. And then they have seven grams of sugar each, which seems like a lot, but really, when you look at all the other uh, cereals, those are like double of this. So this was actually pretty good. And I think that they're going to be happy with that. Um, and then also, oh, I got this for a Weight Watcher casserole. An eighth of a package is three points. And there's two grams of sugar. So there's a lot of hidden sugars everywhere. Um, this is what I get for those moments where I stick a couple of these in my purse, you know, and it's just kind of nice to have one once in a while. These sugar-free from Werther's are really, really flavorful and creamy. Two points for five pieces isn't bad and zero grams of sugar on this one. And then this one's a little bit more pricey. This is uh, four points for six pieces and zero grams of sugar. And we're not counting sugar alcohol this week, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Plus, I only have like one at a time. Um... For the sake of this challenge, um, actually, you know what? Raisins are like pretty high on sugar. And I know they're fruit, but when you dry fruit, the sugar kind of intensifies. And a lot of times people will use raisins and dried fruit as sweeteners instead of sugar. And so the sugar content, I know it seems crazy, but it actually goes up when you dry it. So what I would do, because this is like, seven smart points for a quarter cup and we don't use that much ever but what i would do is if i'm going to use these i count the full sugar grams um, even though it's a fruit if they are dried fruit i would count the whole thing um, just to be on the safe side so okay guys that's it for now um i will see you right. it is saturday night and it is time to get a breath of fresh air and go on a date night um, so I was just talking to hubby about what he planned on doing tonight if he was planning on like going off of the low sugar challenge and he's not he said he's gonna look for a sugar-free dessert afterward um, so and I, I don't think you really get anything else that has a lot of sugar well that um, that lemon pie, the lemon pie is probably, is the lemon pie sugar-free do they probably have one? not yeah. you know what if you want you might ask them because usually the buffets have um, sugar-free lemon pie. Usually, I've but been crashing lately. Why is it? Well, I guess I just I just haven't been having that much sugar. I guess I I didn't think I was having a lot, but when you're consciously trying not to, when you're consciously avoiding things with sugar, it had an impact. It does take your body some time to adjust when you lower. And we were talking about this you know, the, the other day. What's funny is that we thought, you think you're doing okay. And you think that you're not like, you know, having an abundance of sugar and stuff. But when you purposely start looking for it and you purposely start cutting back, all of a sudden you're like, what the heck was I having that now I'm feeling like this? Now, I was telling everybody in the last video, which I don't think you saw, was that you're more of a grazer. 
So he talking has it. Talking about me? Yeah, I'm talking about you. You have it throughout the day. Whereas I feel like I'm a one hit wonder. It's like I usually like, I think about when I'm going to do it and then I do it. And then I remember for the rest of the day that I did it. Right. And it's like, I keep that in my mind where, whereas you kind of like graze throughout the day and you don't realize what you're taking in. And so I think it's been harder on you because of that. So this is what we were going to talk about when he was in the live feed, but he didn't join us today. So, but I wasn't anyway. ready. <laughs> anyway, um, I want to take a picture of the stuff that we get you know, when we go to the buffet, but we never know when they're going to, who they're going to set you next to. And sometimes it's really awkward, you know, they put us like next to a couple people that just stare at us completely like the whole night or something. And then it's like weird to take your phone out on top of that. I should take the phone out and take a picture of them. <laughs> but tell them to take a picture, it'll last longer, right? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys a little bit later. I'm gonna end this day here. This is the sixth day of the seven day low sugar challenge, keeping our um, added sugars to 25 or less. Um, and I'm actually gonna put this up on Sunday, which is the seventh day, um, but this one, Sundays will be up tomorrow on Monday and we'll do a recap um, of it. But uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, it was fun to go out last night and go to the buffet again, you know, but what I really found out was that, and this has been a very enlightening week, it has literally changed the way I look at every single thing I eat, everything I cook, everything, every package I open, everything I buy, everything I order going out, which I've not been out like all week, except for um, the buffet last night, which we were looking forward to going to. And then I realized with intensity after I got there that I have no idea what they're putting in this food. I know I get satiated very quickly, um, and so they must have a higher fat content on a lot of this stuff, but I honestly don't know how much sugar they're adding to things. Even though I try to stay with like sugar-free desserts, um, I don't eat everything that's on my plate. I just kind of like take tastes and things like that, but I really don't know how they make these things. So it was really hard to count um, the sugar grams. So when I got home, I just went ahead and I had only used, I think like two earlier that day. And so I just dumped the rest of the, I think I had 20, 23 left for the day. And, and I just went ahead and, and sit and, and used them all and figured that I probably used them all at the buffet because I have no way of counting, right? Even though I tried to, um, to keep it down. They are, there's different stations at the buffet and they are separated by international fare, uh, barbecue, Italian, Asian food, etc. And I just avoided going to the Asian area because most of the food had sugary sauces um, on them and I just knew that it was going to be too much sugar and so I just didn't even want to go there. Um, and so... Uh, I tried to just kind of like stick with things that I was really familiar with and that I really knew, you know, I thought I knew what was in it, but I really, how can I tell, right? Um, but anyway, again, like I said, I mean, this really changed my whole perspective on what I'm getting and putting in my body. So um, I can't wait to recap with this and I want to hear how you guys are feeling. We're almost there, right? Mm -hmm. Today is, is Sunday and it is, is literally the last I'm day. I'm let you go for now. Thanks so much for spending the day number six with me. Um, and I want to hear all about your day number six and how it went that Saturday. All right, guys. Love you a lot. I'll see you later. Thank you.